we're up, sometimes we're down. Sometimes our heads are just spinning all around. But if you want to walk straight as an arrow, then walk God straight and narrow. Sometimes we're up, oh yeah. Sometimes we're down. Today, we're going to learn what happened during the Last Supper Jesus had with His disciples. Ano po ibig sabihin ng Last Supper? That's a good question, Ponyo. Supper means meal. It was the Last Supper or the last meal of Jesus before He gave His life for us. It was indeed a very special time with His disciples. Ah, I wish I could have been there, Teacher Isha. Me too, Ponyo. That Last Supper is a very special one because Jesus gave everyone a way to remember Him. As they were eating, Jesus blessed the bread and the cup. And Jesus told them to remember Him every time they ate it. But before we start, anong kailangan muna natin gawin, kids? That's right, Ponyo! That's right, friends! We have to pray first. So, Ponyo, can you lead us in prayer? Yes, Papi Chayisha! Kids, let us close our eyes and bow our heads. 
Dear Lord, thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for keeping me safe and my family. Help us to understand every lesson of yours today. This we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen! Amen. The story of Easter, the Last Supper. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, He taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms <laughs> and even raised people from the dead. Uh, At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses when God brought His people out of Egypt. So Jesus was going to Jerusalem to celebrate. The disciples asked Jesus where He wanted to eat the Passover meal that night. Jesus said, As you go into the city, a man carrying a pitcher of water will meet you. Hello. Follow him. At the house he enters, say to the owner, uh, hi. The teacher asks, where is the guest room where I can eat the Passover meal with my disciples? He will take you upstairs to a large room that is already set up. That is where you should prepare our meal. The disciples found everything to be just as Jesus had said. Later that evening, Jesus arrived with the twelve disciples. They sat down to eat and Jesus said that he was happy to be with everyone. As they were eating, Jesus took some bread and blessed it. He said, Take it, for this is my body, which is given for you. Jesus told them to do this to help remember him. Then he took a cup of wine and gave thanks to God for it. And he said to his disciples, This is my blood. It is poured out as a sacrifice to forgive the sins of many. Jesus said, One of you eating with me here will betray me. He told them that things were supposed to happen this way, but that great sadness would await the one who betrays him. The disciples were very upset and asked, Am I the one who is he talking about? Judas asked Jesus, Am I the one? And Jesus said, You have said it. One of the disciples asked Jesus, Lord, who is it? Jesus said it was the one who he would give the bread to. He gave the bread to Judas. And Jesus said, Hurry and do what you're going to do. None of the others at the table knew what Jesus meant, so Judas left at once to betray Jesus. Then Jesus comforted and encouraged the disciples. He promised them that they would have a helper come when Jesus was gone. They all sang a song to God together. Kung ano ang nangyari during the Last Supper of Jesus, Ponyo, pwede mo ba i-share sa mga friends natin yung natutunan mong lessons? Sure po, ate. Um, natutunan ko po yung sinisimbolize ng bread and wine sa story. Yung bread po, it symbolizes the body of Jesus. At yung wine naman po, it symbolizes the blood of Jesus. Exactly, Ponyo! Alam mo ba na ang breaking of the bread at ang drinking of wine ay ginagawa pa rin natin ngayon at tinatawag natin itong communion. Katulad nga ng sabi mo kanina, Ponyo, the bread symbolizes the body of Jesus na napako sa cross and the wine symbolizes the blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross for our sins. Kaya ginagawa natin ang communion para maalala natin kung ano yung ginawa ni Jesus on the cross para sa atin. At natutunan 
ko din po pala na gusto ni Jesus na pagsalbihan natin ang isa't isa. Sa tingin ko po, kaya tinuro po yun ni Jesus sa mga disciples niya kasi sa pagsisilbi po natin sa isa't isa, napaparamdam po natin sa kanila yung love ni Jesus. That's right, Ponyo. Alam mo ba na si Jesus ang nagpakita ng greatest example how to be a servant? Jesus taught His disciples to serve each other no matter what. Kaya kids, ang ating memory verse for today ay makikita sa book ng 1 John chapter 4, verse 7. Dear friends, let us love one another for love is from God. Opo repeat after me ha. Sure po! One, two, three, go! 1 John chapter 4, verse 7. 1 John chapter 4, verse 7. Dear friends, Dear friends, Let us love, Let us love, One another, One another, For love, For love, Comes from God. Comes from God. Yay! Yay! Good job, Ponyo! Oh, kids! Sabayan niyo naman kami. In one, two, three. First John chapter 4 verse 7 Dear friends let us love one another for love comes from God Good job kids Yay 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 And now it's time to party Woohoo Come on kids get up get up get up on your feet and we will dance for Jesus! Jesus!
if he goes to the left, then we'll go to the left. And if he goes to the right, then we'll go to the right. We're gonna jump, 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 jump in the river. Jump, 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 jump. Everybody, if he goes to the left, then we'll go to the left. And if he goes to the right, then we'll go to the right. We're gonna dance, 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 dance in the river. Dance, 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 dance. Everybody, if he goes to the left, then we'll go. Gagawa tayo na The Last Supper. At ang mga materials na kailangan natin ay glue, pink, paalala kids, magpatulong kay mami, daddy, or kay ate at kuya sa paggamit ng gunting. At kailangan din natin ng coloring materials at ang ating Printable. Ang link ng ating printable ay makikita sa description box. Handa na ba kayo, friends? Let's start! Subscribe! Thank you kids for being with us today and we hope that you all learned a lot from our story. Always remember to serve each other no matter what. That's right Ponyo, just like what Jesus did. And don't forget to wash your hands, eat healthy foods, and take your vitamins. And stay home, stay safe. Until next time on Vineyard Kids Online! Paalam! Bye.